Hey, insight number three. Now this really directly ties in with insight number two and my ramblings there. So, yeah. Make, if, make sure you see number two before you come to number three. Or just watch them together somehow. Anyway. Try and keep them short. So we're in verse 40. We're going to skip so far. We're going to go so far right into verse 44. Oh, four verses later. And this is more talking about... Um, this is still talking about light in your life and how you're bringing it in and what you're going to do with it. And in 40, he, like the Lord mentioned some other things about mercy, um, claim of your own, and or mercy have compassion, light cleaveth unto light, uh, wisdom receiveth wisdom, truth embraceth truth. Um, truth does embrace truth. If you go out telling the truth, truth comes back to you. It's about what you put out there comes back and make the efforts yourself. So the Lord goes on here to talk about um, how things move in their times and seasons and how things are fixed in the plant because this is all about the law. Again, we're talking about how things are created, how this world works, just how things come together and work in their sphere of, of existence. So it's not about more rules, it's just about how it works. It's structure. That. Um, so 44 says, because he's talking about how uh, in the solar system, in the heavens, that all the planets have their place and their sphere and they all sort of, you know, stay in their place and work around but actually do a job, you know, with each other and sometimes we get to see like Venus in the sky and he's giving that example because most of us understand that there's stars out there in their orbit and they do different things. Um, he says the courses are fixed and the course of the... Yeah, so then he says in 44, and this is where it applies to us, and they give light to each other in their times and in their seasons, in their minutes, in their hours, in their days, in their weeks, in their months, in their years. All these are one year with God, but not with man. So he's saying here that, I'm trying to explain this the best. Um, you have light and you do things within your sphere, just like a planet would. You reflect light when needed to another planet. Like the moon has its purpose at night to give us a bit of light reflected from the sun. So there's all that that's there as an example of how we work together. As human beings, each of us in our own orbit reflects light to others. So we're reflecting the light of Christ because the light of Christ that's in us is merely a reflection of him. And how we reflect that is up to us. Um... And part of the Lord's plan is how we interact with others. It's it's all about this. Even for Moroni, poor man who wandered how many years by himself? Like 40 odd years by himself. Kind of sucky. But it's still about our interactions with others. That was his trial. It's still about our interaction with others. Um, and with others' journey and, and where that takes us. And where it takes them. And you know that with people, you, you sometimes you meet them... And you have an influence on them for microsecond. And other times people can be in your life, your entire life. And you're constantly working with them in, a, in an absolute orbit. You're not just briefly there like a comet, right? So this is why you use the solar system. Because it's such a good like analogy to tie it into. So if you're teaching this, maybe you could look at how some of the solar system-y things like comets, meteor showers, black holes, all that, how that ties into us living in our orbit and reflecting light. Could be kind of interesting, right? Get into some discussions with your younger people because, you know, most of them like stars and planets and stuff, cosmic -y things. Um, all right, babbling on here. We can reflect that light of Christ we have to everyone in all circumstances. It is our decision whether we have to... Um, you know, do it briefly or quickly, whether we're longer, whether it's a minute or, a, you know, whatever. He said that it's a year to God. That's just how it is. It's that space of time. It, it measures differently for us than it would for heaven. And Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother and Jesus Christ all measure it differently. They understand our time and how we work it, but it's a different measure, different understanding around it. That's what he's saying there. Um, now, we're far from perfect at it, of course, but effort is everything. And be brave. Be light. Shine. Try and shine as best you can. Um, it's just simple little things like smiling at someone in the supermarket. It makes all the difference. As you're walking around, lift your head up, look, make eye contact and smile. 
maybe that's culturally inappropriate where you are. But you know what to do. You know how to be kind and light and shine. You know how to do that. Uh, if you're not feeling it, then work up to it. Again, it's not about being perfect and doing it perfectly all at once. It's working up to it and getting there. You can do it. Um, Thomas S. Lonson, he said, You have come from his presence to live on this earth for a season to reflect the Saviour's love and teachings and to bravely let your light shine for all to see. So remember, it's for a season. Seasons change, different. They move. Sometimes they're shorter. Sometimes they're longer. Sometimes they're intense. Sometimes they sort of just pass. It's a thing. But as he said there, as President Monson said there, it's to let your to be brave and to let your light shine for all to see because they need to see that a lot. Some of them, a lot of people, just need that. Even if they're a really good church member, I had experience with our dear state president, who I love so much, he's an amazing man. He was feeling, I just, he felt dull and grey to me. And I said, you're right, he said, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm like, have you had a blessing? And he's like, no. I was like, well, you should probably go do that. He's like, yeah, okay, I will. Um, and to be able to see that in him and give him that little bit of light and energy that I could right there and, and show him some of that love back helped him to be able to just get past that I'm sort of kind of lost in this moment and then to move forward so that's just one little example um, there's a lot of little examples that you can do there's big ones too but most of the interactions you have will be small and short and maybe with people that you only know for a short time or only see on Sundays or maybe it's the courier driver that comes to your work on a Wednesday morning who knows right but there's lots of little things you can do and shining the light of Christ that is within you, reflecting it from the Saviour. So you've got to draw that in from Him, do things that draw that from Him, have that relationship with Him so you can reflect out and be bright. Um, it's actually a really excellent article that I wrote on this. It's going to be in Work and Wonder, in the Collective, um, in the Winter Edition. Uh, it's probably a long time from now, it's probably around November. So, another three months? What are we? August, September, yeah, November. So, That'll be cool, but long past you've seen this. So, yeah, <laughs> stay tuned for that because that'll be a good one. But, yeah, there you go for that one. Hopefully it's making more sense. Please ask questions. If I'm rambling and you don't get it, just ask questions, please. All right, go there. We're going to go into the next one. Insight number four. I'll see you there.